Hey, what's going on? This is going to be a game review for the uh, iPhone app game Flippy Hills. Uh, I'm not sure if it's on the uh, Galaxy as well. I only know it for the iPhone. have it here on my iPhone 6. And uh, I've been playing around with it a little bit. And i got to say, it's pretty dang fun. Obviously, it's trying to play off of Flappy Birds with its Flippy Hills um, title. Uh, it does have two different camp. It does have two different modes. It has campaign and arcade. Uh, the campaign mode is basically just uh, different levels that you go through, and um, you try to uh, you know collect each coin and make your way through a bit of a maze to a end um, finish line. So and you can see I'm on level 71 right now. Let's uh, let's try it out. We'll see what it's uh, if I can do it or not. So. Um, and then here you get to select your different chicken um, and with each one of them the other thing too is that not only is the chicken different but when you go to the actual map itself uh, the color and lighting is different um, so like like with this guy uh, the background's black and I think the ground is like a darker gray and then with him it's more like a bright sunny day with uh, earth tone colors on the ground so um, and then yeah, that's the last one I need to buy and then I should have all of them collected. They have Superman, uh, a baby, and Batman is actually, so Superman and Batman are obviously the ones that are, um, in my opinion, the coolest. Uh, the cool thing with Superman that I haven't seen on any of the other ones is his body actually flexes. So he gets this kind of strange bend to him that I haven't seen on the other uh, characters. but. Uh, screw Superman, I'm totally going with Batman on this. So, all right, here we go. Um, yeah, so basically just to start, you tap the screen on the right-hand side and that'll get him to jump forward. And if you tap the left-hand side, uh, it'll make him spin around and kind of face the other way. So, here we go. Oh. Oh, oh, come on. Well, that was close. Let's give it one more try. Come on. Oh, get... Mm. All right, well, I'm not going to sit here and uh, struggle with that all day. And then uh, we go back to main menu, then we have our arcade mode. And the arcade mode, in my opinion, is, is the best. Um, Kind of a bummer thing is that there's only eight levels. Not really sure, and if you try to like swipe it, it just jiggles. So maybe they're gonna be adding something in the future, not really sure, but it is kind of a bummer that there's only eight levels on this. And as you can see, I'm in no professional. Uh, I mean, 43 is my best on the first level, so, uh, you know, I'm not the best at this. I don't, you know, I don't really know what the super high scores are or anything like that, but I imagine they're probably much bigger than 43. So, but uh, yeah, so we'll go try this one too. Uh, here we'll, we'll go with Superman on this one. Just for something different. And you see how the coloring, uh, the background's different and everything. Um, so yeah. All right, so here we go. Let's see, he's, he's floppy. There's Superman uh, 8. Let's see if we can do that again. So basically what you're trying to do is you're just trying to time the taps to the physics so that when he lands, his center of gravity is facing the way that you want him to go. So right there, you just kind of let him roll off of his toes and then he can just, his forward momentum keeps him going. And then you get these nice cool slow motion effects when you start oh, rocking it and, and do like a pretty gangster little flip over or something. Ooh. Oh, get up, get it, that's what's up, look at that, Superman. Come on. And there we go. So. Yeah, so that's kind of a brief overview of it. Uh, if you tap on the money on the right-hand side, you can watch a video and it'll give you some coins with some advertisements. Uh, it is $1.99, ninety-nine, 
for the game. Um, so that's why you don't see any ads popping up. But if you did download the free version, I think that's every like two or three games in, it'll pop up an ad, um, you know, that you can obviously exit out of, but it does take, I think, about five to ten seconds before you can do that. Um, you can also record, which I haven't done that in the top uh, left-hand corner there. Not really sure what that's all about. Let's check that out. So if I hit on the record, so now I'm recording. Okay, so we're recording our recording. Oh, and then, yeah, he'll, like, spit out an egg, I think it came out of. And that little white box back there. Get up there. So, there we go. And, oh, and then you can watch it and share it and download it and all that good stuff. So, that's cool. So, yeah, so you can keep your own memories of your games, everything like that. Uh, can we trash this? Nope. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. And then, like I say, you know, I mean, there's all these different chickens, everything like that. Um, you know, your settings here, music, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so it's not bad. Um, I, I, I really seem to, I, I really seem to be enjoying it quite a bit. Uh, I like the um, try a different level here. Uh, I just like the physics on it. I like the way the characters feel. They just, they, they feel really natural and the bouncing and the movements all feel nice and, and fluid and I mean it can get frustrating at times where it's just challenging and um, you know, you're going at such a pace. Sometimes it feels like you don't quite get the bounce that you were hoping for or that you were expecting to get. Um, so I don't know if the response is 100% but it does feel pretty, uh, pretty good. I mean. I definitely feel like right now I tap and it goes. You know, obviously I need to go over those bombs a little bit faster here. So, oh boy, yeah. And yeah, I mean, for me, I don't know. I, like I said, I'm no expert at it, so I'm sure there's people that can just rock this, and you know, they're just bouncing like crazy and spinning and flipping and all that good stuff. But uh, not me. I, you know. I, I get into a zone and I can start to like really kind of get down the map, but see like this right here, right? Start feeling it and get up there. And then, uh, oh, shh. So yeah, so basically there you go. There's Flippy Hills in a nutshell. Um, it is, like I said, a pretty fun game. I never got into Flappy Bird because I just felt that that thing it was kind of weird, I don't know. I never got into it, I played it, and I just didn't even get addicted to it because it annoyed me. I don't know, it, it kind of gave me like a slight headache. And the the Mario pipes also was a big issue for me. I didn't understand how they could just do that, <laughs> and it wasn't a big deal. Um, but yeah, so anyway, um, but I do find this game pretty addicting. I, I find that I will sit here, uh, especially once I first downloaded it. I played it for a, a good couple hours. For sure. Um, so it, uh, yeah, it definitely has a replay value on it. Um, I would like to see maybe other things added to it, like power-ups or something like that, where you can really kind of get. I mean, especially with arcade mode, it just feels like it's just kind of, you know, high score more than arcade. I don't know, because I just think that arcade should have something. Oh Jesus Christ! Um, I'm recording the whole thing. Um, I don't know if that saves to my videos or not. But um, anyway, yeah, it just seems like the arcade version isn't really, it's more of just a high score. So yeah, it'd be cool to see them add some, some uh, you know, different modes. Um, maybe online would be kind of cool, seeing how far two people could get down it. Um, you know, I don't see how, why they couldn't incorporate something like that, which is like a turn-based kind of thing. Uh, but uh, otherwise, gotta say, I'm pretty stoked with this. It seems like I'll probably enjoy it for a while. Uh, it's, I gotta be honest, for me it's hard to find games that I like. Uh, I tend to be very picky when it comes to phone apps and what I put on my phone and what I'll play and stuff like that. So the fact that this one has got me um, playing it and basically focusing so much on it that I can't even talk right now is a good thing. So yeah, anyway, new record, look at that. 
All right, so I guess I'll end the video there. Uh, once again, this was Flippy Birds. Uh, I can't remember who the maker of it is. I'll put all that in the description below so you can get it. Uh, you'll know who made it and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so Flippy Birds, there it is.